Back here in the city of trees, Boise State held commencement over the weekend. In all 54 Broncos student athletes received that piece of paper that proved they have brains and brawn. This is something that we've long understood about Boise State football standout K. Calicaniho. Even though he's an all conference caliber football player, his football accomplishments likely pale in comparison to his academic achievements. Earlier this week, I caught up with K. Cala and discovered that his thirst for knowledge knows no bounds. K. Cala, you've long had the reputation of being very studious. When did you really kind of uh, commit to that process or, or, or find out that you really just kind of enjoyed school and learning? I don't know if I could pinpoint a time, definitely before middle school and high school. I, I just really enjoyed learning new things and the challenge of, you know, solving problems and things like that. And I think learning always is kind of a problem when you look at it because you go into a situation kind of knowing nothing, you know, so you need to figure out ways to learn the things that you're being taught. The book work was always something that kind of came easy to me and naturally, you know, but I did fall in love with being able to learn new things and always looking for new things to learn. And I think that started, you know, and I'd say in elementary because by the time I got to middle school and high school, I was already that way and enjoyed, you know, putting my best effort into things and turning in quality work and things like that. So I think just enjoying the process of learning and figuring out ways to, to learn new things, you know. I, I built a lot of Legos growing up and just figuring out ways to connect those to make something cool, I guess. <laughs> How do you seek out what you want to learn, I guess? I mean, is it limited to just the classroom and football or do you do extracurricular stuff in terms of reading or, or, or I mean, whatever your mind yeah. desires, I guess? Yeah, I'm a really observant guy, I'd say. So like kind of every situation that I'm put in, I'm always like trying to figure out you know what's going on around me so to say so like me and my girlfriend joke about this all the time we'll be out on a walk somewhere like down the green belt and every sign I walk past I'm like stopping to read you know and she's like can we just keep walking like nobody wants to read the signs but I'm like stopping and reading the signs just because I'm so curious you know about what's going on around me and stuff that I don't understand or don't know yet so I think just the curiosity and wanting to know more about what's going on around me I think that's where I find the spark to pick up new things. And I like learning a lot about like investments, you know, business things. Um, want to learn a lot about real estate. I actually did an internship in real estate, you know, this past semester. So I think just when I get curious about something, just going for it and like seeking out the information. I'm not necessarily going to ask who the smartest guy on the team is, but yeah. um, is there somebody that's kind of on the same wavelength as you in terms of the things that you want to learn how you learn, uh, things like that? Um, somebody that's on the same wavelength or like thinking like me often, I feel like, I feel like Bruno was. He, I know he graduated already, but Bruno was always kind of on that same vibe as me. And he's my roommate too, so that probably helps that we're just always like in the same house thinking of the same things. If I had to pinpoint one person, I'd probably say him. Hey, uh, Bruno, great guy, by the way. We're going to have more with Kay Cala coming up this week on Jay's Sports Bar, available on iTunes and YouTube.